Hey everybody, Tom here. Today, we're gonna to talk about goal-based marketing with Unica Journey. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna talk about is what Journey was designed for. So it's brand new from the ground up in version 12 of Unica. And it was really developed around a very specific marketing mindset. These are marketers today who wanna to run their own campaigns in real time. They're tracking their results every single day. And they're marketing against specific goals uh, that they're trying to achieve, either on a weekly or a monthly basis. And that's really what uh, Journey was designed to support with goal-based marketing. So once again, I mentioned this is the, uh, the Journey for Credit Card activation. Uh, this Journey is actually in draft mode, so it means it hasn't published yet. It's not live. Um, and the first thing you notice is a couple of things. One, we have the milestones right across the top here. So we're building the milestones into the Journey because Journey, journey is going to be monitoring those milestones. The second thing is you notice we have this palette over on the left hand side here. What this allows you to do is actually select touch points, configure them, and then bring them into the journey so that journey is orchestrating across those touch points. The second thing is we have a series of what we're calling journey controls. And this is really actions that happen in the journey between touch points. So you can see we have uh, a delay here where we're waiting a certain period of time. Here we have a decision split that basically says, you know, is the credit card active or is it not active? And that's gonna put you down different pipes. So let's talk a little bit about overall from 30,000 feet, what the journey is actually doing. Um, so the first thing we have to do is figure out what the entry source is, and that's right here. So you notice we actually have two. We've got a REST API entry source, and we've got a campaign entry source joined to the same journey. Um, and then for each one of these uh, nodes here, we have different email communications. Now. We're showing email in this journey, but it could be uh, any kind of messaging platform um, using uh, Unica Link to connect to multiple email engines, SMS engines, mobile web push. So uh, just a matter of your choice. Um, but if I look at one of these communications, like the activation reminder, you know, the idea would be you're coming down through the pipe. We're going to check after a certain, I think, five days of delay to see if you've activated the card. If you have, you go on in the journey. If not, you're going to get a reminder. And to give you a sense of what that looks like, so this is uh, an activation reminder. It's configured with uh, Deliver, which is our messaging engine. And basically, you can see here where we've chosen the communication we're going to send. And then here, we've chosen the personalization fields we're going to use. So you can see we've already got that configured to go out through and deliver. Now, you're going to go down through that pipe. And again, we're going to wait a little while and see if you've activated. And if you haven't, well, at that point, we're going to kind of just say, OK, we did our best. Um, if you have activated, then you go back into the activation um, cycle over here, where the next thing you're going to get is an activation. Thank you. Then we're going to have another delay for a week. And we're going to wait for you now that you've activated to make some purchases. If you've made your first purchase within that period, then you're going to get that purchase. Thank you. Um, and, you know, again, if you haven't, we're going to try to think about what we want to do next. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, then the last part is really around becoming an active credit card user. So once you've been using the card and we start to calculate your purchases, remember we had that threshold of five times in a month that people who get to that uh, level, we're going to invite you to uh, join the loyalty program. So the next thing we want to do is add to this node here where you can see um, somebody hasn't made a first purchase and we want to prompt them with an email to say, hey, here's an additional uh, reward when you make your first purchase. So you just drag and drop that guy on there, double click on it to configure it. And again, we could choose to send email using deliver and go through the same process you saw earlier where you're selecting your creative, you're selecting your personalization fields, or I could use Unica link and actually join out to say, uh, another ESP or uh, messaging engine, or even an in-house uh, engine, anything you want, really. So just take that out. So you can see that's the overall, how the, how the journey, journey works. Pretty straightforward to design, build, edit. Um, now, the next thing we want to talk about a little bit is where these milestones come from. So if I go to more actions and say, view and edit the details, this is going to take me a little bit behind the scenes. So you can see where I've named the journey itself. And then down here, we've got uh, the data definition, which is the definition of the source of the data. And then we've got the milestones that we've added here. If I wanted to add a new one, let's just say we'll call this loyalty join. 
And let's say you want to check for joining the loyalty program and just add it. And then you would say next. And you can see now I have a loyalty join um, activity or milestone that I'm looking for. You can then go in and depending on what data sources you have uh, aligned to your different, um, different uh, journeys, you can then pick one of these. And if you remember right before I said we had a campaign entry source, we have a REST API, you'd probably be picking it from the you know, REST API. And then basically you just pick the field in there that represents that event you know, occurring. So let's see where it says apply for loyalty. Maybe I just apply for loyalty program, right? And then you would set a condition for that here where you'd say, you know, it's equal to yes. And that's going to have me look for all the people who uh, have joined the, the loyalty program. So now I've got those milestones up top. Um, and again, what uh, Journey is going to be doing is checking that data source in real time. And anytime it gets an event where somebody's joining the lo loyalty program, it's going to count it as a milestone having occurred. And then that's all going to also going to be treated as an event trigger. Maybe down here in the journey, I would add another node that says, okay, for people who just applied for the loyalty program, here's what you do for them. So that's the milestones uh, part of this and how we're mapping the journey to the entry source. Now, the last piece we really want to talk about is how to um, add and edit the goals, which you do over here. And you can see I've got different goals that are related to, again, targets around those milestones like active usage, first purchase, et cetera. Uh, this one's empty right now because we haven't started the journey yet. We haven't run it. So we'll show you what it looks like when we're uh, running it in a minute. So that's really an overview of what goes into the journey itself. And if I was happy with this design, I like the way it was laid out, then what I would do is publish it live. Um, now I've got one we pre-published, which I'm gonna show you right now. And that'll help you get a sense of what it looks like once it's live. So here's my published credit card activation journey. And watch what happens as the thing starts to detect in real time, see how the numbers go up. So it's pretty interesting that this thing really is running in real time. And you know, this is obviously a demo environment, but you know, in a live environment, these numbers are gonna be constantly uh, updating. So you can see the journey is running through those same nodes and you start out with nine people who enter the journey with an approved card. They all get the welcome uh, invitation or uh, welcome notice. And then as you scroll down through, you can see that, you know, some people don't activate. So they end up going down through this pipe. Uh, a lot of people do activate and then some make their first purchase. And then, you know, three at the end count for active usage. So that's kind of how people are flowing through the journey. Now, the next thing you can look at is what's the performance um, of your different communications? In this case, we're only using email, but if you had SMS, we'd also show you that. And you can see we're tracking delivery opens, clicks, uh, et cetera. We will calculate the average uh, interaction time when we have a larger data set. Um, if I look at the goals piece, so this part is kind of small right now because we've only achieved uh, three because of the number of people that have come through the uh, the data, but as we build out the data, we'll have more. This one's my favorite report. It gives you the waterfall of the different people who made it through and what is the achievement um, of the goal. So you can see that we're, you know, 100% because obviously we sent the welcome note to everybody who, who got approved, but it starts to drop off as you go down to that three people who became um, active usage. So we're, we're at 50% of our goal. And then if I go over to the funnel view, this is probably the most interesting one because it shows you where those events are happening in which entry source, because we know different milestones are gonna happen in different entry sources. And then it's highlighting over on the right that you know, you're know you doing okay on the, the first two, but you're falling short on the third one. And so that's really your trigger to come back into the journey and say, okay, if I'm not getting that first purchase happening here, Maybe I need to vary the creative. Um, maybe I need to look at different channels or audiences to then see if I can't bump that um, conversion rate. So that's how we're doing goal-based marketing um, in Journey in Unica version 12. I hope it gave, gave a feel for how marketers today are really increasingly you know, running their own campaigns, executing across multiple channels in real time, and then really kind of hawkishly looking at those milestones to make sure that they're really delivering against that weekly or monthly goal. So stay tuned, we'll come back to you with uh, other demos about how to use Unica Journey. Thanks.